Welcome to Learning Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about the GST token, which is a Green Satoshi token, which is a utility token for the Stepan project, right? It back a few days back, it was about like $32. Now it's cost about $4 at the moment that we're shooting this video. It is online in life. And uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get started talking about the project, right? Does the price go so down? And uh, what is happening with the project? Is it a scam or is it legit? So. Without any further ado, let's get started. But before I say anything, I want to make sure that you understand I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say in this video only for educational purposes. Well, the first thing is look at the Binance Smart Chain, the Satoshi Token, and look at the Solana Chain. They're getting close and uh, I made a few videos about this project and I said I believe for the project to be kind of in the same range. Well, the first point, yeah, I believe that sneakers and a BNB was much, much higher, but they are going down as well. Well, I didn't predict that China's government, Chinese government would ban it, ban the Stepin project and make ask them to leave the place, right? But uh, I didn't know what would exactly happen, but I would know, uh, kind of consider that it would be around like kind of a close, because it is on the same chain, uh, same project on a different chain, cannot cause different price. Uh, well, the first time they get a lot of hype and I believe lots of people lost a lot of money on a sneaker based on a Binance Smart Chain because it cost a fortune and now they, the floor price dropped down incredibly. Well, the reason is, there's a three reasons guys. The first reason is a bearish market. If you go for a, like uh, the main page of the coin market cap for the sake of this video, we're going to be using that. You can see the trending ones. It is actually the first one, the Binance Smart Chain. It is the, yeah, because I believe because of lots of price, uh, in the price term, they have dropped a lot of uh, money right and because of that it is trending because people are checking on it and uh, you can see that whatever it is trending it is still on red and they don't pay attention to this one the biggest gainers can this ones are kind of a new projects and uh, they start to uh, once they get listed on a coin market cap, people start buying it and some of them gonna be pumping up in kind of a good and other people will see it for it to for the project to pumping out so good during the bearish market start buying it and then uh, it, for the long term this will not gonna be there forever it's gonna be for a few days and then it's gonna drop down incredibly low much much even lower than as GST on other projects and most of this project a 99% of it never gonna comes back and uh, the rest like uh, from those 1% there's also possibility for a project to be a scam meaning where you, if you're in a crypto world for a few months you'll you know what type of scam i'm talking about meaning you can buy but you cannot sell it happened to, I mean, it can happen with any cryptocurrency because most of these cryptocurrencies are have a contact uh it does not have a contact modifier meaning that's not the source is not verified and if anyone on a developer's team or if they wanted to change anything on it like to make it unsellable they can do it so be very careful with that and as you see the bitcoin which is the mother and the father of the whole altcoin is going to uh, being on a bearish market it is red the greens are it's a stable coins which is co uh, always going to be green because they are equal one to one a uh, dollar to dollar uh, cryptocurrency in a real world right the rest like uh, most of it, it is on a bearish market this is the first reason for the price to go down and the second reason for the price to go down on a Binance Smart Chain incredibly so low which is because of this I said Chinese government I already made a video about it I'll be putting the link on that video in the description of this video and uh, to make it shorter basically the Chinese government asked the step in project to leave their country and they're gonna be leaving their country on a July 15 so it's gonna be uh, not very soon but still in the near, near future and uh, all of this ch uh, Chinese community who own the sneaker they start selling it and uh, yeah these two reasons cause for the third reason and the third reason is a panicking meaning as I said the bearish market plus the Chinese government want them to leave and the people start selling the sneaker and obviously when the and demand does not meet the requirement meaning the demand is not as high as the people are selling out there and uh, that caused the price for the sneaker to drop down and because of that price for the sneaker to drop down obviously for the price of that coin also caused it to drop down as well and I believe as I said yeah lots of people lost a lot of money on it well this is the life and it happens with the cryptocurrency but uh, long story short, I didn't believe it from the, f as I said, the beginning that it's going to be around like $30. It cannot be this way. F same project in you know, two different chains cannot be like in a, such a huge different differentiality. And anyway, we're not going to be talking about that part anyway. But as I said, these two reasons called for the third reason for the panic, meaning other people were seeing it with the price going down. Most of these people are not going to do even research. They just say like, oh, they're just going to start believing on other people when they're calling it scam by not understanding what happened to the project uh, that yeah the new people who don't want to do the research or doesn't want to uh, do or I don't know like uh, if they don't want or if they 
really do not know how to do it. Basically, they see the price to go down in some credit below. They start selling as well to panicking. They will just uh, okay, be okay with the losses. And all this, as I said, three reasons. As I said, the first one, bearish market. The second one, it is the Chinese government. And the third one, for the first and two combined, caused the panic made for the third reason. All these reasons combined together made this price to go incredibly low. So that is why. I don't believe because of the price going down it is going to be a scam project. Why? Well, let's check on a Solana chain, right? The Solana chain at the highest peak it was about like $89, it's showing wrong here, it was about $89 and even then the uh, Chinese, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, step in project wanted the developers, they wanted to keep the price between 2 to $3 in the weekly AMA, they say already have said it multiple times, so whoever uh, listened to the AMA weekly, they already know that uh, it's not my word, it is actually uh, developers looking for it for the long term to be between 2 to $3 for the Solana chain. And they're going to be dividing the energy between this uh, Solana chain and uh, Binance Smart Chain recently. I mean, very soon as well, they uh, announced it on AMA as well, right? And uh, for a project to be at 2 to $3 and leave a sustainable long life, I believe it's going to be a very good, I would well say. With one sneaker, obviously not going to make a lot of money, but there will be possibility for you to make a lot of money by having more token, I mean, sneakers, using it for minting and all that. But at the first place, this project wants people to run and then make extra money, so that is why they actually, uh, about the minting, I'm not sure in the future will it be as much, uh, I would say, profitable as it is just to do uh, running and stuff. So, the whole point of the project to keep the people healthy, right, to make them run, so I believe for them to be it this way, so I'm not talking about the minting and all that, but if you're having more sneakers or renting sneakers, because yeah, if they've even the renting option have not come up yet, they will gonna be coming soon with a renting option, and obviously this is gonna give more hype to the project. So I believe because of the hype, for a price to go even higher than a two, two to three dollar for the short terms, I would say I'd do a retest around like eighty-nine dollar or even as high as ten dollar. But I don't believe for the project to keep uh, to be there for a long term because I own sneaker myself and I make about like twelve and thirteen pure coins a day after repairing. And if I'm gonna start doing like a ten dollar per coin, it's gonna be about hundred and thirty dollar from a sneaker that I bought it for a 14.4 Solana so I don't believe for this uh, this way I'm not calling it scam but I'm being a realistic so I'm saying as I said for a two to three dollar long terms so but again this is my own opinion and why also do I don't believe for the project to be a scam well look at this this way guys it is Solana chain first voice and then the Binance come along and then it look at the web page that like in many uh, like project crypto projects that you don't you're not gonna see the picture of the owners and all the full name it's just, just gonna be some random picture like, you know NFC pictures like it was a initial or one name the first name or the last one but here it is both like a full name with a full picture and it wasn't even a link for the social media where you can connect with them if you want to and talk with them even uh, advisors also this guy's right here the VP at Adidas so many like uh, I would say uh, hyped people and hype uh, projects got behind of this project and this one definitely has a lot of hype and potential behind them not only because of the like uh, hype as I said people and the hype project getting behind of it but look at about this this way even a YouTube YouTube TikTok Instagram and all this up application they getting paid basically because of the ad revenue right like about the advertisement and as a I you know as an ex uh, I would say a developer I can tell you this right here that any application which can I mean, if any developer would love to have an application which makes people to use it every day and obviously it's not going to be an application that you're going to be downloading and forgetting it about it right in order for you to keep making money for out of it you're going to be going to this application every day few times a day and uh, for a transferring for a running for any reason it's gonna be just application for your daily use meaning it can be a good platform for advertisement for a sport outfit sport uh, uh, you know uh, where anyway I'm not trying to say that it is gonna be happening this way and I have not listened in anywhere that it's gonna be happening what I'm trying is I'm trying to make a conclusion that what I see do see about this project and I do see this happening on this project as well but again I might be wrong so that is why I do your own research about it but that's what I feel and I think about this project and about like you know activation code being the 
uh, only 1000 activation code a month plus only whoever tends about 10 energy will get another activation code to spend it to give it to other people so all these like terms and rules and regulations shows me that the project have a very very good chance to be a long-term run because uh, keep it demand under control uh, of the new users right and uh, beside that so as I said I already have said too many things about the project I don't want to make them too advertising about this project so be very careful with this one but uh, like let's for the comparison talk about the Bitcoin now this is the Bitcoin this is the whole time chart and I knew about this Bitcoin since 2011 2012 somewhere there but it was obviously I knew uh, much earlier than a coin market cap did because they got listed here since 2013 but back then in 2011 I knew a guy I'm not gonna be calling his name because uh, yeah, for the reason that I'm gonna be saying in the next. Uh, well, yeah, I met a guy where I used to work, and uh, I used to work at five five I mean five four four John Street in San Francisco. I'm not trying to advertise those guys either. I'm not even sure if they are op still open. It was a hookah bar, uh, shisha or what you call it. Uh, used to be an administrator there. The owner was Kinani, so shout out to you guys. And then yeah, let's go back to the project, talk about it. So I met a guy, his name was, uh, yeah, I met a guy, he told me that uh, about this project, I mean, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And back then it cost only a few dollars, less than a $10 it cost. And he said that, yeah, it is good. And actually he uses sometimes to buy a weed or something like that. This is the reason why I'm not trying to, uh, yeah, call his name. Because he's used it, I would say, uh, for uh, some wrong way to spend it but anyway uh, he will start talking about it and start what does it do and after like thinking about it I did not kind of uh, get too serious about it but how whatsoever since during this time like since 2011 I've been checking on it and the last time on December 2021 well actually it's wrong on a coin market cap I do remember exactly when it was it was on December 2021 the highest peak and the highest peak was 21,400 and uh, why do I believe so because I guess I was kind of a uh, you know very depressed back then because you know I had a chance I knew it because very um one my friend which is a very intelligent and smart were telling me about it I didn't even do enough research to or at least uh, didn't buy it for a few I don't know hundred I would have get a few uh, over like a 15 token for about a hundred dollars somewhere around that but uh, yeah I didn't do it and obviously back then I didn't know that it's gonna be at the highest peak 66,000 but I still was like too depressed and uh, as you can see within a year from that moment it actually dropped down back to 3200 it was at the lowest I believe yeah it was 3200 I believe yes right here 3200 and the people were yeah calling it scam bubble they knew it's gonna go down this is just the same thing which a step was a step in happening and this took a year and a step in it's only a few months old guys so it is after being here since 2011 up to 2017 meaning i'm not sure when the project was created the first place the bitcoin right but i knew it from 2011 so i'm gonna be going from that so it's from 2011 to 2017 for a six years it was kind of going up and down and it made a incredibly high peak and then after that, within a year, it was uh, seven times less than it was at the highest peak. And uh, yeah, it scared the people, out, shit out of people. But along the way, it was going up and down. And you can, you can see the highest peak that recently happened was 66,000, right? Even 67 something. Oh, I, yeah, last time I believe it was 66,000 that I remember, but it seems that I was wrong. Yeah, it's a 67 something. And now the price is going up again. And again, people are calling it a scam and all that. But this scam have been, as long as I remember, have been there for 11 years. But I believe Bitcoin was created 2009, right, or 2010, somewhere there. So, I mean, this project exists for about 12 and 13 years. Uh, well, at least I can tell you that for 11 years, for sure, this project exists because I knew it since then. I missed on this project, but I don't want to miss on this one that grants uh, the GST. It is definitely hype and a new idea of it, right? They move to earn and make the uh, like cryptocurrency out of it. That is why I believe for this project to be a long run, and I explained my uh, opinion why do I believe in it so much. 
But other than that, guys, make your own research. Do not listen to me. Do not listen to other YouTubers who are calling it scam. As I said, do not listen to me either who are calling it legit. But listen to both of us, I would say, to both of these type of videos and make your own research out of it. Like, go for, a, I would say, market. Try to determine what this you see potential for this project. And then based on those decisions, make your own choices because it is your money and you need to decide how to spend it. Other than that, thank you for watching this video, guys. And if you like this type of video, then just go ahead and subscribe for the channel. There's going to be more coming up daily or at least a few times a week. And as well, you can just go ahead and join our Telegram account where we're going to be sharing with our thoughts and about the new crypto projects. And the link for the Telegram account also will be under the description of this video. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.